Let's look for camping stuff. These have gone up quite a bit, $12 for a single pack meal. And it has, uh, well, this is supposed to be two servings. <laughs> One serving is only 210, 31%, 720 milligrams of your sodium, 10 grams of protein or 17%. You definitely have to supplement those just even for your calorie count. I have one of these. We should do a review on it. Typhoon Match Kit. Logs. Look at this. A sharpening stone with two grits on it. Hmm. Kind of an odd shape. Only a dollar ninety-seven though. Hatchet. There's a little cutter, a little folding saw. The trouble with these is that saw tends to be kind of thin. Here's a multi-tool for only ten dollars. A commando saw. $4. I guess it costs more because they it has handles. Oh, here's the first aid kits. Hiking buddy first aid. 10 bucks. Cuts and scrapes, laceration, bites and stings, allergies, rope and more. It's got rope in it. There's the actual ingredients right there. Hmm. I suppose this is getting near the end of the uh Oh, look, this is a good price. $22.98. Those are usually more in other places anyway. There's a personal water filter. Now this one you put on a bottle or you can drink directly out of the ground with it. There must be a... Is there another straw? Oh no, you're drinking from this either way. And in water you could bend down and stick it in, or you could uh, do a, a bottle. 20 liter dry bag, eight bucks. Some nice cases, waterproofy cases. Here's some larger system water filtration bottle. Well, they don't have a lot right now. Cups, cups, thermos bottles. Rain suits. $18 or $19 with the change, I guess. So that's pretty much it. I came in here to return something and uh, 
you know, a few minutes after seven and the store doesn't, the customer service isn't even open till later. Uh, huh. Those aren't the right prices that go with this. This must have got moved. A little mess kit. Something like this you can find on the used market pretty cheap usually. Uh, we have great yard sales here in Maine. I guess other countries especially don't do yard sales, but uh, you could get all your camping gear from yard sales if you, you know, it might take you a while to do it. You wouldn't get it all in one year, but. I'm thinking of getting this $11. dollars my daughter's going on a road trip so I'm gonna uh, uh, she's gonna take the stove with her we get kerosene so let's look at this for a second uh, so it's it's a 667. For eight ounces. Oh no, this is good. no two hundred twenty grams. Okay, two hundred twenty grams. And this one is how many grams is this one? Four hundred forty grams. So it's got twice as much. So you you kind of you might save a little less than a dollar by buying the larger one. I'm thinking, though, that might make it more stable, too. They have the uh, propane tanks as well. <coughs> oh. Let's look at this. Stove with stand. It has a wind... Stove with stand. Hmm. This is only fifteen dollars, and it's got <coughs> it's set up for butane. It has an adapter, and it has a stand. Look at that! Actually, the the stove I got was ten dollars, and it didn't have these other items. So, uh, this actually is an extremely good good deal because you have the two fuel option. In other words, if you run out of, or you, you're somewhere where you have to purchase some more fuel, you have the option of doing either uh, isobutane propane mix or just plain propane for $15. That's good. Good price. <coughs> what have we got here? We've got a stove here, that's $22. Uh, when you go to the more expensive stoves, I think they have, they can be adjusted more finely. So, I got 20 more minutes to kill in here. Before customer service opens. Hmm. Look at all the propane they have. Little tanks. Ten dollars. My dollar daughter has a propane heater and it runs off of two of these. So that would that's that's a pretty good deal. Walmart usually does have really good prices, I'll tell you that. <laughs> 